Hey guys, it's Shannon and Trace here for Signal by Sony, and one of us just got back from CES 2015 in Las Vegas. And one of us didn't get to go this year. Aww. But I did get to check everything out from a distance. Thanks, Shannon. You're so welcome, Trace. <laughs> yeah, it was a really, really fun time. And the really slim TVs, they, oh like tinier gosh. than a cell phone. So thin. Super, super cool. And there were these awesome high-res audio devices. So awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. Jealous. So one of my favorite things, of course, was this thing called an off-road razor. It's a four-passenger vehicle. And they had a bunch of action cams built on two of them, like That's sitting awesome. on little tripods. It was so cool. I was like, I gotta get me one of those. Yeah, and speaking of those action cams, they are really sweet looking. Yeah. And there's high res audio, like we said. There's the PS4 announcements, wearables, mobile Very gadgets. Cool. So last week, we gave you the first looks at the new Sony gear announced at CES. And since then, we have seen a ton of great questions that you guys posted on sites like Twitter and YouTube and Facebook. So we are here today to help answer a few of those. That's right, we are. So let's go ahead and start with with the new Walkman. So for the first question, Z Monty asked, they use gold for rigidity? Ah, gold is so bendable and soft. So that part is actually a gold-plated copper chassis. This combo is more rigid, but it's really designed to minimize electrical noise so that you get a better, cleaner, clearer sound. There were also a lot of questions about the price of this new Walkman. Surprised that it is over a thousand bucks. So the new NWZX2 is Sony's flagship portable digital music player. So it's the premium product and they took no shortcuts when it comes to the build quality. Alejandro asks this high res audio thing. Does it sound better than vinyl? Which is a great question, but it really depends on the file characteristics of the high res file being used. And it's subjective in that high res could sound better to some, but vinyl might sound better to others. It's really dependent on what sound characteristics you prefer. So Bjorn Asplund wants to know, what about apps? Can it run Spotify and Wimp Hi-Fi? And the answer is yes! Since it runs on Android and you have access to the Google Play Store, it works with the internet radio services and apps such as Spotify, Pandora, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's move on to the TV questions. So here's a succinct question from What Gear, one of my favorite questions we've got. 200 hertz? Oh. That's the whole question. <laughs> anyway, all Sony 4K TVs utilize 120 hertz panels, which are the fastest native panel refresh rate currently available. That's what he's asking about. With motion flow processing, the motion smoothness, though, can reach motion flow 1440 hertz. This can be great for sports and games, but you might want to leave it off for movies so you get that more cinematic experience. We also got loads of questions about the price. A lot of people are worried that it's going to be really, really expensive or out of range. Now, while Sony hasn't released any pricing yet, we did learn that the ultra slim TVs will be in the same price range as last year's 4K TVs. So you totally don't have to win the lottery or, or slot machines. Or win at poker, because, you know, CES, it's in <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> And moving on to the new 4K action cam, Yu Xiaoxi asked, do we have manual exposure settings for the photos in this upgrade? And the answer is yes. It is found in the explore control mode on the camera. And Arsolano Lee asks, is the new 4K action cam 1920 by 1080 at 120p capable? And the answer is, of course, yes. The action cam 4K has full HD 1080 at 120p. Nice. And rounding things out with the new 4K Handycam, Ushot Singer asks, what is the sensor size? Can anyone confirm? Why, yes, Ushot, we can confirm. It is one and two thirds back illuminated Exmor R CMOS sensor in there. Yay. <laughs> so we have to wrap it up here. Thanks for all the posts, you guys. Keep them coming. As these new products get released this year, we're gonna get some of them here in the studio for an even closer look. Yes, and of course, you can check out all of our videos over at youtube.com signal. For now, this is Trace and I'm Shannon, and we're saying see you next time. Bye. 